All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're joined up here by UCLA head coach Corey Close and student athletes Angela Dugalich and Gabriela Jaquez. We're going to start with an opening statement from Coach Close, and then we will open it up to questions for the student athletes, first in the room and then on Zoom. As a reminder, if you are joining us on Zoom, please use the raise hand function so I know you have a question. Coach Close. Here we're excited for another opportunity. I have so enjoyed this group of uh, this, this team and want to keep coaching them. And so we've earned another opportunity. And so uh, just looking forward to prepare against a really good Creighton team, so efficient offensively, uh, so versatile, uh, a very experienced team. And so it's going to take our complete focus uh, to um, to earn another one. And so our 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 total focus right now is trying to uh, be the most prepared team, the most together team, the toughest team uh, going into tomorrow's matchup, which will not be easy because Creighton is a very formidable opponent. We're going to open up the question in the room for the student athletes. Um, for both of you, I'll, I'll obviously ask Coach for an update in a minute here, but if Lauren's able to come back tomorrow, what does that add uh, to your team and just your you know, chances of, of prevailing and winning a, a big game like this? We'll start with Angela and then have Gabriela answer. Yeah, I mean, Lauren's presence is very known and she makes it a, a lot easier to play with. I think um, Creighton's a very good three-point shooting team, just all around in general, but having Lauren, just her presence in the paint, um, maybe it'll disturb a little bit of that. So I, I think it'll be a great presence. Um, and if she can't, I don't know her status either, but if she can, I think we're completely fine without her and even better with her. So Yeah, mm. yeah along with what Angela said, uh, we obviously love playing with Lauren and we want her to play any time possible, but again, we don't know her status. Um, but she's just a dominant force out there, rebounding, blocking shots, finishing at the rim. So, yeah. We're going to go in the third row. Uh, Corey John with the Crytonian. Gabrielle, you had a big game last night, scoring 19 points. How big was it for you to get rolling last night as you entered the tournament? Yeah, I think that I was just really excited to play March Madness. It's a lot of fun, and it was great energy. And so I was just ready to play. I knew that we had a size advantage. I knew that the post-ups would be there. So I just kind of took advantage of that and just kind of helped the team with whatever I could do. On your second row. I believe Coach said that uh, Creighton has five seniors. I can't remember if they're all starters. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what challenges that present? I know you've got some veterans as well, but when you have a team that's been, you know, that veteran savvy and they're going to, you know, they're going to make smart decisions and play a good game, how do you kind of counteract that? Or do you, even not think, do you even not think about that? We'll start with Angela and then go to Gabriela. I actually didn't know that they were all veterans. So, I mean, that's a really cool thing for them. Um, but... I don't really think about that stuff. I think we've basically everyone on our team has some form of college experience and we've been playing with each other for the whole year. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm confident in our abilities. Yeah, along with that, I didn't know they were all seniors <laughs> either. I share that with them. Yeah, um, we're just kind of mo fo more focused on like how they are as players and we know they're a really good team and we're just ready to play them. We're going to go in the third row. <laughs> uh, Gabrielle, you mentioned the size matchup you had yesterday. Both of you are taller than the entire Creighton roster. How does that change the way you prepare, the way you play tomorrow? Uh, I think that we're just going to, you know, scout today and just continue to see what they do and just focus on being us and getting the ball inside, taking the right shots we know to take, and just continue to rebound and play good defense. Second row. Um, just going back and forth. Um, stylistically, what challenges do they present from what you've seen of them on film? And, you know, what are you expecting to have to do well to win the game? Um, I mean, I think everyone knows this, but they're a really great three-point shooting team. So we have to guard the three-point line. Transition defense gonna, is going to be big. Um, defending without fouling, they're the number one team in the nation uh, for free throw percentage. So... Um, uh, we have keys that we've we just prepared for, and, and um, I mean, they're also good two-point scorers, if you could mm -hmm. say that, too. Great cutters. Um, they set and use screens really well, so we just have to defend. Our next question is going to come from Joe Reedy via Zoom. Is, it, is there style similar to any teams that you face this year, or with, with the five-out motion, it's a unique challenge? 
We're going to have Angela answer first and then Gabriella. Um, I think the closest opponent that you could relate them to that the, we've played is Utah. Um, they do, I, I mean, the similar style. There are mainly three-point shooters in Utah. Here, I think they're even more three-point shooters than they are. So that would be my answer, yeah. Yeah, similar to what Ann said, Utah just with the three-point shooting threats, um, just running them off the line and trying to limit their threes that they take and just, yeah. Any more questions for the student athletes? Thank you both. Appreciate your time. Oh, thanks. <laughs>
Um, I, I just think that's something I have zero control over, we have zero control over, and I don't want anything to take away uh, from the things we actually do have control over, and that's our preparation, that's our competitiveness, that's uh, our enjoyment of this experience. And, um, you know, we, we actually, um, uh, Coach Tasha showed a video to them of uh, Kobe Bryant um, several years ago, and he was talking, the interviewer was saying, I think it was Jamil Hill actually that was saying, um, do you hate losing more or love winning more? And he said, neither, either one takes me away from my process. And either one with, um, takes me away from being the best and learning from every experience and every moment. And Coach Tasha reminded our team of that video today and said, look, our process doesn't change. We come in here, we looked at a couple of mistakes we made last night in um, transition defense. Uh, we made some you know, adjustments that we need to make and we are just falling in love with the process of what it takes to become great. And we don't wanna be deterred by that from anything anybody else is doing in the tournament. We'll go in the second row. Um, you talked about their offensive tendencies and their threes. Uh, obviously guarding the three was huge against Cal Baptist. Is the way they generate their threes a lot different, uh, Creighton, and, and, and what will the challenge be there? Yeah, I think the way that they, uh, you know, Cal Baptist really wants to create those threes in transition a lot more. Their pace of play um, is higher than um, Creighton's, but Creighton's come um, a lot more out of shooting, uh, out of uh, screening actions, whereas Cal Baptist comes a lot more out of drive and kick in transition. So um, how we handle all of Creighton's screening actions um, and ability to uh, communicate through when we need to switch, when we need to stay, how we get over the top, who are you guarding, um, um, you know, making sure that our mismatches um, don't get us in trouble in terms of post-ups. And so um, we just have a lot more to communicate through in the, ha in the quarter court. We're going to go in the third row. Uh, yesterday, Creighton was kind of content to trade three for two, letting Desiree Young go for 30 while they just put up three after three. Do you think if they take that approach, it plays to your advantage or theirs? Well, if they make as many threes as they did yesterday, it definitely plays to theirs. I mean, you know, they, like I said before, they are a better three-point shooting team than us. I mean, the numbers don't lie. Um, you know, they've got several players that do such a good job with that. Uh, we don't want to we, – we want to get stops. And we have a, a goal to get eight kills a game, and a kill is three stops in a row. And so for them, if you're going to get stops, you better take them off the three-point line, you know. So I don't know if I'm going to get into trade and threes and twos, we definitely don't want to do that. It definitely plays to their advantage. I don't think we can do um, and rely on Charisma getting 30 or Lauren Betts getting 30 and um, then, you know, they miss threes. You're hoping they miss threes. I, I don't want it to come down to that. we go in the third row again. Uh, and then on the defensive end, if they do allow, say, Betts is available or Angela mm -hmm. and Gabriella to mm -hmm. uh, score the way they were allowing Desi Ray. Do you think, do you, would you be happy with that or would you still be looking to take more shots on the outside? No, I mean, if you don't stop us in the paint, we're going to keep going to the paint. That's how we're built. You know, just like they're built in their motion offense and being able to shoot the three and off ball cuts and screens, we're built from the inside out. We're built on our guards getting downhill um, and getting the ball inside to the post. And so if they are going to let us do that all night, which we are at our best when we're able to do that, then we're going to keep doing that and then find ways to try to keep them from being their best. I mean, that's really what each one of these matchups come down to, is which team can keep the other team from playing at their best and play to their identity and their best at the same time. And I mean, I, I'm not a rocket scientist, but that really is the goal. Any more questions for Coach? Thank you. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you.